What was supposed to be a celebratory weekend ends in mass shooting in New Orleans. Ten people are in the hospital after bullets flew early this morning at the edge of the French Quarter. Mayor Cantrell is calling it an ugly disruption. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Devin Bartolotta. There were so many police officers in the area when it happened that at one point police actually thought those shots were intended for them. Here's Paul Dudley. Dozens of police officers on the scene of a mass shooting. Ten shot right here on Canal Street. It happened around 3.30 a.m. Sunday morning during a busy Bayou Classic weekend. There were so many people out here who were unable to determine who was actually firing these shots at that time. NOPD Chief Sean Ferguson says officers were already in the area for their Bayou Classic patrol when it happened. Officers thought the shots were aimed at them. We had officers right there within that very block that actually thought that they were being fired upon and uh, took a position to respond to this. No officers were hit, 10 others were. They are being treated at University Medical Center and Tulane Medical Center. As of Sunday morning, two of the victims were listed in critical condition. As for what started this whole thing, details are still unclear. NOPD officers told us that they are questioning one person. However, that person has not been named a suspect at this time. So we did detain an individual, this is still uh, in, in the preliminary stages of the investigation, we do not know if this individual have any involvement in this incident as of right now. There have been six shootings in New Orleans with 10 or more victims since 2013. On Sunday morning, New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell addressed the most recent one in a statement on Facebook, calling the shooting an ugly disruption of an otherwise beautiful holiday weekend. Adding, quote, we will do everything we can to wrap the victims and their families in our love and support and to bring the criminals responsible to justice. For now, police are looking at surveillance video in the area, hopeful it will help lead them to answers. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. Now there is a $5,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. District C Council member Kristen Palmer also released a statement following the shooting on Canal Street. It says in part, quote, this is a terrible event on a weekend meant to celebrate the traditions of two wonderful Louisiana institutions. I hope for a speedy recovery for the victims and will work closely with the administration to provide any support necessary to them and their families.